Today we are going to share the story of Bass Reeves and how he had to arrest his own son. I'm sure very few people in this world have ever had to do anything like this, and it's an interesting story. There is little doubt that U.S. Deputy Marshal Bass Reeves is the greatest lawman of all time. During his long and storied career, he had a record of arresting more than 3,000 dangerous criminals. He shot and killed 14 of them in alleged self-defense. Never once was he ever wounded, although he did have his belt and hat shot off on separate occasions. Bass had earned a reputation as a fearless lawman who would go to great lengths in order to get the criminals in. These criminals were whiskey runners, bank robbers, horse thieves, cattle rustlers, murderers, and so much more. None of the Reeves arrests came easy, but perhaps his most difficult arrest came when he had to arrest his own son. Reeves' son, Benjamin, or Benny as he was known to his dad and family, worked as a barber in Muskogee, Oklahoma. At the time, his marriage was strained and he was putting in extra hours at work so he could make his wife happy, but that didn't seem to be working all too well. One day, Benny came home to find his wife Cassie in bed with another man. He wasn't quite sure what to do about this, so he confided in to his dad over a couple glasses of whiskey. He asked him what would he do in the same kind of situation. Without hesitation, Bass replied, I'd have shot the man and whipped the living God out of her. Now, Benny never was a man of violence like his father, so he figured he would just forgive them instead. His marriage seemed to be getting better, or so he thought. On June 7, 1902, Benny came home to his wife in bed with another man named John Wadley. Benny beat the man senseless, and the man was able to escape with his life. In a fit of rage, he pulled out his Colt 45 revolver and shot his wife in the head. Benny immediately went on the run, knowing the severity of his actions. Word of the murder had spread throughout the city, and he was wanted for murder, but none of the other lawmen wanted to bring in Bass Reeves' son. Bass went in and insisted on getting the warrant. Marshal Leo Bennett was reluctant to give it to him, but eventually he did. According to the legend and Benny's sister Alice Spawn, Bass gathered up his gear, saddled up his horse, and then set off on a hard pursuit. Two weeks later, after an arduous trek through Oklahoma Hills, he returned with Benny in tow. However, there's an alternate story in the June 8, 1902 issue of the Muskogee Daily Phoenix. It states that Benny surrendered to his father immediately after the slaying. In response to the query, when and by whom you were arrested, Benny wrote, Muskogee by Bass Reeves, my father, who was a U.S. Deputy Marshal. Nothing ever indicated that there was a chase. However, Bass definitely arrested his son for the murder of his son's wife. At the time of Benny's arrest, he was listed as 21 years old, 5 foot 11 inches tall, and 170 pounds. He had black hair, slate blue eyes, and a mulatto complexion. It's long been debated on whether or not Alice's version of the story was correct, or the newspaper's version of the account was correct. There is one thing that is not debated upon, and that is how the incident took a severe toll on Bass both emotionally and physically. Bass stood by his son throughout the trial and visited him regularly in jail. On January 22, 1903, Benny was found guilty in a trial by jury in front of Judge C.W. Raymond. In February of 1903, he was sent to Leavenworth Federal Prison in Kansas for a life sentence. There he became a model prisoner with no demerits whatsoever. Many of the prominent citizens in Muskogee felt bad for Benny especially so under the conditions under which he committed the crime. They started circulating a petition for his parole. The petition in conjunction with his model behavior in prison led to Washington, D.C. commuting his sentence on November 13, 1914. Benny's total time served was 11 years and 10 months. Benny returned home to Muskogee, Oklahoma and became a model citizen in the community. He continued to be a barber as he had done before his prison sentence. Sadly, his father Bass had passed away on January 12, 1910, so the two never saw each other again. It's not exactly known where Bass Reeves' grave is. There are some that think he is in the old agency cemetery in Muskogee, but his grave is unmarked. 
Others believe him to be somewhere else in another cemetery in Muskogee. He does have an incredible statue and historic sign that has been placed near the grounds of the Fort Smith Historic Courthouse. Benny's date of death is unknown and it is also uncertain where his final resting place is. Since he lived out the rest of his life in Muskogee, it is believed that he is buried somewhere in one of the Muskogee cemeteries. So that's going to do it for our little story today. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned a little bit of something. This story is certainly unique. I don't know of another U.S. Deputy Marshal going into Indian Territory and having to arrest a family member. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.